All right, David, let's let's talk about your book. You're you're an author of a few books, but but you're no 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 not oh, a few. Well, I'm sorry. authored in a few books, you know, in newspapers and and all these different other things because as we did a lot of press because the press was coming down because like I said the, tre the treaty itself was culminated with the riots mm -hmm. and so when people got word and wind of the peace treaty then we got free press and so I did a lot of radio a lot of newspapers was in magazines and books names was mentioned uh, participated in the main man march and and so with that, you know, led me to this concept to write a book. It's your first book. My okay. first book. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is a project that I'm working on with the uh, author. Uh, well, I'll be the author. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damien Zellis is one of my good friends who um, actually was the writer that wrote um, the, the, uh, the, uh, the screenplay for Colors. Oh, and I, I met I met Damien. Yeah, I met Damien uh, by way of... Uh, um, the OG Bobby Johnson, Glenn Plummer. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, so Damien and I are, are you know, he helped me um, structure and put this uh, biography together as he tells my life. So most people don't know who I am, you know. You know, they just made me look just out, you know what I'm saying, not knowing that I come from a family, you know what I'm saying, a revolutionary in a sense. You know, my mother and father, you know, was honorary members of the Nation of Islam up under Elijah Muhammad. Um, I gang bang a little bit. Grew up in the historical, notorious Jordan Down housing project developments. Um, uh, Co-founded uh, Jim Brown, home to Hall of Fame running back, uh, football player, uh, organization American, um, the Game Truths. Spoke at the Million Man March, big international travel, and I mean, just an architect of a lot of things. And most people don't understand that. So these things will be detailed in my book. And it's coming to it's coming coming to people soon. I'm on five chapters. It's gonna be a 15 chapter book, uh, tell all. You know what I'm saying? Which you know talk about politicians who you know been a part of my life, not in a positive way, but in a negative way. Because you know my goal was always to eradicate violence and provide sustainable opportunities. But like I was saying before, you have people that don't want to see that. And so I'll be highlighting certain big name politicians certain corporations that I interacted with, uh, my life my life, and growing up as a gang member, uh, my family life as a man, as a father, as a husband. Um, I'm gonna kinda like outline that, you know what I'm saying, a little bit in my biography. Like I said, I have five chapters that's completed. Uh, it's gonna be a 15 chapter book. Hopefully, I was trying to get the book finished, I was trying to get the book uh, done and completed by October, but because I have so many different other platforms that I'm working on, I have to pause. And, but I'm going to be uh, getting back to that. Hopefully we'll, you know, present that book and it'll be ready by the anniversary of the Game Truth, which is April 29th of 2021. So, you know, like I said, I'm going to just this be my first book and it's going to be detailing. It's going to be for the stay tuned. It's going to be juicy. Do you yeah. give a title to your, to your book yet? I haven't come. I haven't came up with a title yet. Okay. I haven't came up with one, you know, but um, that's something that I'll be working on all within this process and stuff like that, you know, so... Um, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting, you know. These are, these are, um, you know, when people talk about biographies, these are real life situations. This is not fabricated. This is not plagiarized. This is, you know, my life as a whole, as a person, you know. And so, I think it's gonna be very interesting. You know what I'm saying? For people to read, it will be a read for young black men who are, who are facing gang violence, who over, who looking for ways to overcome that, um, politics, how you really engage in politics, what politics really mean. Um, this book is going to go over a lot of things from a black man's perspective in America, you know, growing up in the ghettos, in the, in the heart of where there's hopelessness, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it was, you know, a lot of people don't understand when you live in an environment where you're hopeless and you self-make yourself, because I can't give credit to no one other than God. Because, you know, I had to self-make myself. And I had to create my own identity. And like you see right now with the studio, creating our own platform to be able to tell our story. Right. So that book is coming in April of 2021, the anniversary of the Game Truth. That's exciting. What um, kind of advice would you have to give to the youth that, that are still involved with gang violence and are trying to escape that? For the ones that's, that's involved, you know, what I have to say to them is that get out while you can. You know, because a lot of times, um, once you involve yourself, because it's a culture, and then the culture.
culture can be, can, can be very addictive, you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to wait, you know what I'm saying, until tragedy or to, until tragedy hits you. Or, or you get too far in and now you're trying to come out at the age of 40 and 30, you know, because you're wasting your time. You know, gangs within itself wasn't originated, you know, out in which we were participating in. These gangs were sub coach sub subsection organizations that was piggybacking off the civil rights movement, protecting your community, doing positive things. And it kind of it's kind of got caught away. It kind of got misrepresented during the 80s, during the crack era, whereas in Hollywood and you know, lack of leadership and the wrong leadership, you know, said took control. And for the young people out there in America that's black that's participating in these activities, I tell you straight up, hey man, find something else to do because you don't want to waste your time. You've lost too many people behind ignorance, you know, behind a false identity and not really having a, a future, futuristic direction to secure yourself, to secure your family, to secure your community and have a positive representation as a black man, you know, or, or a minority person coming from these, these disadvantaged communities. So it's, you know, get out now, you know, and um, for those who are trying to get out, you're in the right direction. The greatest thing that I can tell you is that, you know, why I say I'm self-made is because we didn't have any positive role model to mirror when we was transitioning from that point, from that, from that time of point in life. Um, the greatest gift to me was the enlightenment was my faith and belief in God. And by me believing in God, and praying to God and asking God for certain things and seeing God reaffirming these things in my life through people was the greatest gift of my life. And my 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 my, my transaction came uh, when my first son was born because I was so I was torn, I had a bad attitude, I come from a disadvantaged, broken home family, and I was mad. And I'm glad that uh, the woman, you know, that I had a child by chose to have that baby because I probably wouldn't be here talking to you right now. I'll probably be in dead. I'll probably be dead or I'll probably be locked up for a long time because I was on a cold path and my heart was hard and I was filled with a lot of emotion and a lot of rage and stuff like that. And because I had that son, I had to now look at myself as a father because I blame my parents for a lot of things. And, and now that I was a father, now that I was uh, going to become a father, I had to ask myself, how did I want my son to leave you? You know what I'm saying? Being me dead or me in prison. And I decided to live for my child. And that's what I've been doing ever since then, living for my children.